mostly conducts his business at night. His base of operations is a building in the warehouse district, which purports to be a purveyor of plumbing services and which on the surface appears to be legitimate. However, he never received any mail. There's lights on at odd hours when they're ostensibly closed, and while people go in and out with a fair degree of regularity, it's usually just the same four people over and over. They usually arrive alone and depart shortly thereafter and frequently meet in groups of two, and on the one occasion they were all together, they were also met by a fifth, who I also believe to be the head honcho, the mastermind of some sort of rogue element within the government that Stephanie somehow ran afoul of. Rogue element? Like, you think she was kidnapped by the government or something? Shortly after I began my search, the man who later became known to me as co-conspirator number two, a.k.a. Beanie Hatman, showed up to Stephanie's apartment with a team of movers, collected all her belongings, and took them to an unknown location. Then, that same day... Is that why? This was found in Stephanie's file at Union <coughs> Station. <coughs> work transfer request signed by Stephanie on the day of her disappearance. But the man who filled in for her at the radio room that day told me she gave no notice whatsoever. Such orders could not be falsified <coughs> or fabricated without direct influence from within the halls of power. She knew they were coming for her. When she eluded them, they filed that false work transfer to cover up her disappearance. They took all her belongings to recover any evidence she may have gathered, and now silencing her is the last step repairing that leak. Is it that why right? Stephanie got kidnapped? Her only hope is for me to expose them before they find her. 